Hey everyone, DJ Rad here. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize a MIDI system like this trigger finger with Serato Scratch Live. I've been meaning to do this video for a very long time, so I'm sorry guys. Um, but anyway, what I've been doing is using the MIDI system with this with Serato Hot Keys. And so, what you can do to assign MIDI uh, points, you go up to the top of your Serato Scratch Live screen, press MIDI, and this little bar is going to pop up at the bottom. Now you could uh, assign all these different things, set temp cue, temp cue, set cue, load left, instant double, all this stuff and control your library and control the decks down here. And all you have to do is uh, roll over something, click it, and it'll turn to brown, say unassign uh, to MIDI input, press the MIDI button on this controller to assign it. Now I'm not going to actually assign that to anything. Um, but what I did, let me go over here actually. I, I keep on kicking that darn cable. I don't like RCAs. That's a different video though. Sorry guys. It's punk TV. Anyway, so what I did, let me see if I get some light over here. These four pads are assigned to the first four hot cues on Serato and the fifth is down here and it's mirrored for this side as also for this deck so what I can do when I play the song so yeah you get the idea but all you have to do is click on any button. All the buttons in Serato are assignable to anything on a MIDI system. You just click it, it turns brown, and then you press the MIDI button over here, and then it turns green, like that. So there you go. Practice and enjoy.